Hello, welcome to Thursday. Long hit style day. We have three blocks today. I'm just gonna go over movement one by one, not go over the kind of rhyme or reason, and you guys can get after them when the day comes. Movement one and part one. I'm gonna be a little bit lighter and easier. We're starting with inchworms. Keep your legs straight as you can. Walk yourself into a plank. A little up dog, down dog as you move through that. You'll then take your dumbbells. Remember, maybe a little bit lighter on Thursday. Two movements we're doing. Push press, getting those legs involved. Dumbbell deadlifts where the front head touches the ground. And then lastly for this one, you just air squats, okay? Get set, all the way down, hips below the knees, stand up nice and tall. Next piece, we're gonna start with wall sits, which are as simple as they sound, also as hard as they sound. Get nice straight lines, keep that stomach tight, sit. Don't press and just kind of hang out, okay? From there, we're gonna do dumbbell power cleans. So we're gonna add that deadlift and then catch in a front rack position. Cool, from there, um, we'll run. 400 meters, good day to get some running in and that'll add up as you go through it. Last one's gonna be three accessory movements. All right, so choose variations that work for you. Um, think of kind of strength building in these pieces. First one, dumbbell curls. So go as light as you need. Control on the way down. We're not swinging and rocking as we do them. Next we have dips. We got a lot of variations for dips. Rings, bars, bench, whatever kind of suits you, using bands, etc. I'll demo these today because they're a fun addition to the Venice location. So. Put them in a height that you can kind of jump and get set at the top. You don't want to press out of a dead standstill. And then we control ourselves down and safely press up. Last one for today is a handstand hold. So if you're comfortable kicking up, awesome. Want to make sure we can be locked out, stay nice and tall, we're not shaking or hinged. If we can wall walk up, so nose facing in, and then maybe scale how high we're going up. When you wall walk, you can go up kind of halfway, practice that. You can also do a body weight or a lower version. Just think of scaling as moving your feet lower to the ground. So even just a pike or feet or knees up on a bench. Okay, but we're approaching the wall. Something I see is people um, scared to kind of trust that this wall, which I promise, is not going anywhere. So in the beginning, if that's something you're slowly working on, just being inverted for the first time, I know that's kind of uncomfortable and difficult, trust yourself, aggressively lock those arms out as you press into the ground, kick, and hold. Cool, have fun, see you tomorrow.